This one is going to be, I don't know. Um, we've talked about, she said, I have another one and wait until you see this. Um, I bought this 1960s for $163 at an estate sale. It was half off day. They were originally asking $325 for it. Luckily, I saw the pictures of it on Facebook and had time to research it. I was very happy it was still there on the last day. I auctioned it and got 30 bids, ending at $1,009.90 plus shipping. Ah! Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for. These are the best of October, October 2022. I am gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. These are Facebook members share. I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you are not a member, definitely go join. This is what the group looks like. I will have it linked down below. And if you guys wanna share a Bolo to have it featured in this video, feel free to do that. This is a great way to help others learn and you get to see your bolo in video format. So how cool is that? Um, thanks to everyone that um, participated. I mean, oh my goodness, there's so many things that I learned in this video. So in the comments, as we go through the video, let me know if you see something that you had no clue about. All right. And let's get started. My wife found this vase for $3 and I found the coat for 10 and they sat for months, but they both finally sold for t within 12 hours of each other. That's so funny. I feel like when you list things at the same time, like sometimes your things get filtered through eBay. So it looks like the first item is this um, vase and it sold for $350. So that was well worth the wait, $3 and the 350. And then this Porsche design jacket, was $10 and flipped it for 80. So both great profits there. I would like to share this bolo with you all. I found this military 25 cent note upstairs in our garage. We have a few boxes of in-laws old things. This was inside a book I flipped through. It sold for full asking price in four days. Thanks for looking. It is a series 692 25 cent military payment certificate. $93. Very cool. Not a big money bolo, but I won this for free on Whatnot in a giveaway. Can't beat that, right? Speaking of Whatnot, come follow me on Whatnot. I haven't done my first show, but I'm going to. My link, my referral link's down below. If you're not on Whatnot already, you can get a $10 credit to shop if you use that link. But um, that will take you to me and you can follow me. So if you're already on Whatnot, use that link and follow me. Yay. Okay. Enough about whatnot. Sold on auction for 30. Could have gotten more, but free into 30 is awesome. That is awesome. It is a, um, oh, what do you call it? I always say um, it's a Funko Pop and it is Thomas Magnum. That's what it looks like. So, yep, free is always the best price. Older Tech Deck Finger Skateboards paid $3. So those are the little ones that you push with your finger. Okay, um, Sold these for $44.95, and this is what it looks like. I bought this on Marketplace for $5 and sold it for $101, plus shipping. It was delivered a week or so ago, and so far, no feedback, but also no complaints. Yeah, I feel like a lot of times people don't leave feedback. Um, I know I'm kind of guilty of that. On Poshmark and Mercari, it's like you have to leave feedback. Um, on eBay, it's like it kind of, you kind of forget and I do, I need to do better about leaving feedback. Now, as a seller, I'm great at leaving feedback because it's automatic. When you pay for the item, I have it set up on eBay that you automatically get feedback from me when you pay. As a buyer, I need to do better. Okay, so it's a nautical ceiling light globe, vintage, and it's north, south, east, west compass, and it's very cool, $101 there. I bought this vintage stocking kit at the Goodwill on Saturday for 99 cents. And after looking at comps on eBay, I listed it for $99. Someone was interested, so I sent an offer of 90 plus shipping and she bought it. I didn't even have it listed for 24 hours. 
Yeah, you guys, if you don't know, vintage stockings like the cross stitch kits, uh, the needlepoint, definitely a bolo. Uh, this one is Edna, Edna Looney. I'm not familiar with that. And this one is a felt Christmas stocking. So even the felt um, crafty ones do well also. She said, I have another one and wait until you see this. Um, I bought this 1960s Miriam Haskell costume jewelry set for $163 at an estate sale. It was half off day. They were originally asking $325 for it. Luckily, I saw the pictures of it on Facebook and had time to research it. I was very happy it was still there on the last day. I auctioned it and got 30 bids ending at $1,009.90 plus shipping. Ah, that's incredible. Wow. I love it. It's like a whole set. Wow. You know, you always think the last day everything's going to be gone, but it's not always. Pick these up at an estate sale for a dollar, listed high, and they set for four months. So I sent out an offer and they sold for $75. These are vintage mermaid bathroom hanging wall decor plaques, $118. And this makes me think of my Bolo bathroom category videos where I do a deep dive into the category of bathroom Bolos. And this is one thing that always ends up getting featured is these little wall hangings. They can be fish and different things and they have the little bubbles um, but these are definitely a fantastic bolo and I really need to do an updated bathroom bolo videos because those are fun. So, okay. Uh, did I say it sold for 118? It sold for 118. Doing my research now, but I think I finally got a decent bolo, picked him up for a dollar and just discovered he's Tom Rubble collection piece, rare snow white seal pup. 1990s, going for close to 100. Courtney, do you have a video about Worth Point? I think it's time for me to subscribe. Um, yes, I do have a video on Worth Point. Um, I love Worth Point, but I will tell you it took me a couple years to commit to signing up for Worth Point because, well, I'm kind of cheap and it's kind of pricey. But what I learned was <laughs> that it's worth it. I have made so much extra money because I am using Worth Point. I remember I went into my husband and I'm like, I can only find this on Worth Point. I'm like, what do you think about getting Worth Point? I'm like, I'd rather pay for the entire year because it's cheaper to do it that way than month by month. And he's like, do it. And I'll give that to my accountant. It's a business expense and well worth it. Um, I have several videos on how Worth Point has helped me as a reseller get more for my items. It will pay for itself. I know it seems like a lot of money, but it will pay for itself. So anyway, uh, Tom Rubble, Ruble Rubble, R-U-B-E-L. I know about this one because um, Horse and Hair Curiosity Shop, uh, this is her eBay store. She's a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and her store is incredible and she sells a lot of this brand and I see her selling it all the time for big money. So um, I'll, I'll link her down below. All uh, right. I picked these up at a garage sale for $3 after wishing and hoping to find a Christian Dior nightgown and seeing one in your videos. I had it listed for $110 and took an offer of $85, which I was thrilled with. And this one is sold by Abigail's Vintage Abode. And um, no, not Abigail's Vintage Abode. <laughs> Abigail's artful abode. Oh my goodness. I just did a whole video on her. Um, she's incredible and her YouTube channel is incredible. Go subscribe to her. She is a bolo finder. She also has a store. She is amazing. So be sure to check her out. I'll link her below. Picked up these cool nautical racing flags at a garage sale and listed them on eBay for 175. After going back and forth, I took an offer of 130 and was totally happy with it. So this is what they look like. All right, so here we go. Um, this one is going to be, I don't know. Um, we've talked about perfume. Okay, side note. Um, if you are shipping perfume, there is something new. Like I think it used to be ORM slash D and then I would write perfume and I would put that on my label. Um, I just watched a video from Toy Attic. It looks like this. If you have not seen this video, go watch it. Um, she got three, I think it was, packages back. Um, she has to pay for postage on those packages again because they did not have this new 
symbol. I don't know. So I am going to, in her video down in the description, she has like a little PDF or something. I am gonna go to that, click on it, and I'm gonna just print some out on my Dymo and have them for when I ship perfume. So from what I understand, if the perfume is brand new, you can sell it on eBay. Other people say that you can sell it in collectibles. Um, I did just see on my Vero page that somebody got a perfume removed, but it was a splash. So I don't know. For um, I, I removed all my perfume from eBay. This is not eBay, but I'm going to tell you what she wrote and um, you guys can look into it and do your research. Um, I have not heard anything about Mercari and perfume. I know that you cannot sell perfume on Poshmark because Poshmark um, uses USPS and perfume has to ship ground. So here's what she said. May not be a bolo, but an explanation. With eBay pulling used cologne perfume, I've been using Mercari. So she's saying because she can't sell used perfume on eBay, she's selling it on Mercari. I don't know the reasoning why eBay has decided to not allow us to sell perfume. Um, if anybody has any feedback on that, please let me know. Um, does Mercari have rules for it? I don't know. If you know the answer to that, please let me know in the comments. But here's what she said. Don't use Poshmark. It's in their user agreement. You can't sell them because of the shipping agreement. When using Mercari, you have to pay the shipping and it must go ground service to meet USPS requirements. So what you have to do is you have to put free shipping is what she's saying. And then you need to go and pay for shipping, whether that be pirate ship or you take it to the post office and then you enter the tracking. She said this cost about $10 on average. I've been putting that in the description so they know. The list here I picked up with a box of bathroom items and a box of kitchen items for $10. Kitchen items were mine, but all the cologne went up for sale. Prices are before fees, so 50 to 60 in pocket and only half sold. So I'm going to pop this screen share up for you guys. It is really, really tiny. Um, but these are perfumes that she has sold on Mercari. Um, I, I don't know. Do your homework. That's all I got to say. But, um, and... Again, feedback, feedback, feedback. If you guys know anything about selling perfume on eBay and Mercari, what's your take on it? Are you doing it? Are you having any issues? If you're on eBay and you're still selling used um, perfume or clone, are you having any issues? Bought at Goodwill for $5.99, listed for $75, sold for a best offer of $65. It's a vintage Reasons, Reasons Street veteran button-up two-tone varsity jacket. This is what it looks like. I had this book as a kid, one of my favorites. I, of course, read it first for the nostalgia. I bought this book, The Ghost's Dinner, at a garage sale. I bought a total of six kids' Halloween books for 50 cents each, or $3 for all, and just planned to lot them up together in a bundle. But I had this strong feeling overcome me that I should look up this particular book. So I did a quick search and found the last one sold for over $70. I was shocked. Needless to say, I li listed this one separately. Mine sold in a week for full asking price of $68.99, free media mail shipping. Moral of the story, look everything up. Here is what the book looks like. Hi, Courtney. I sold this Department 56 Mount Olivet Church for $65 on Poshmark. I listed it probably six months ago. I bought it through a local auction with a lot of about 15 Department 56 buildings, so it cost me about $2.67. None of the other buildings were worth hundreds, but I have sold most of them for $35 on up a piece through multiple platforms and with people I know. A really nice return on my investment. Thank you for all the info you share. So um, I talk about board games. I just sold something on Poshmark. I can see my little things as I'm recording popping up. Um, board games are a great thing to sell on Poshmark because they're heavier and um, on eBay sometimes shipping is 10 to $20 depending on where it's going and uh, Poshmark has that flat fee of I think it's $7.95 or something. Um, here's another one, Department 56. You know these still fit within the size um, parameters and usually are five pounds or less so maybe a maybe cheaper to ship on Poshmark. So definitely keep that in mind. I do have videos, uh, what sold videos of items that I've sold on Poshmark. Those are hard good items. So if you're looking to branch out to Poshmark, um, I do have a referral link down below. That will let me know when you join. Definitely check that out. 
All right, I got this pony at Goodwill for $1.49. I actually bought four ponies from this series. Turns out they are super rare ponies made only one time in India. I had no idea when I bought them. This one sold for the highest amount. It went to Iceland through eBay Global Shipping Program. Sold for full asking price of $600. Ah! I kept finding vintage My Little Ponies at the Goodwill for months, too. Um, these fun school ones brought the best money. Fun school? Fun school. What? Okay, let's look at this. It says vintage, ultra rare, hard to find, holy grail, MLP, My Little Pony, fun school. So are they really My Little Pony brand or are they fun school brand? Or is it My Little Pony and it's like, I have no idea. Okay, I know some of you are My Little Pony fans. Let me know in the comments. Bought a bunch of vintage barber's items for $20. This is just one of the items listed at 40 and took an offer of 36 and it is a barber's flat top comb with level. That's what it looks like. And this one comes from the old man picks. He is not a member, but he has been a uh, follower of my YouTube channel for a long time. So I am definitely going to shout him out. So thank you, the old man picks for uh, sharing. Bought a bunch of vintage barber's items. Okay, so this is another one. All of these items, all of them sold in less than two weeks. Still have several other items listed from this purchase. This one here sold for $120. It's a Dubl, D-U-B-L, duck, gold, sorry, this is really small, gold edge, pearl duck. It's a, a razor, a straight razor, you know, that you shave with. And here is the other one. Master Barber Shell Horse Hide Razor, made in Germany, sold for 75. These are incredible. And he said, literally nothing into this. I bought a large Ikea bag of stuff for $10 at an estate sale. Sold another one of these prior for 39. It was in better shape. This is a two and a half by three and a half piece of paper inserted into candy boxes around the turn of the century. How cool is that? 30 bucks he sold it for. Wow, I love that. I would have not known what it was. That would have been something that I would have used Google Lens for and hopefully it would have picked it up. If you guys don't know what Google Lens is, it is a free app. You can download it to your phone. Please, please, please do it. I went so many years without using it and now that I have it, it's free. You click a button, you take a picture and it pulls up things that match your photo. I do have a video that looks like this on how to use Google Lens. Go check it out. Put it on your phone. It is it's gonna save you so much time. Okay, like if you're at the thrift store, instead of putting on Facebook, anybody know what this is or how much it goes for? If you can't figure it out, you Google Lens it. I, I'm in the thrift store. I'm at garage sales. I am Google Lensing things all the time. So check out that video. Paid $1.21 in an, on an online auction, sat around for months until I listed it, probably priced it too low as it sold within six hours for full price. The gentleman who purchased it said he worked for a company in the 60s and had never seen one like this. It's a vintage, um, I'm sorry, a vintage aquarium supreme special model piston air, it's cut off, scientific cooling, and it says old, $149.95. I have no idea what that is, but... Um, it's, it's a pump. It's some sort of pump. <laughs> All right. Paid 15 for an Ikea bag of stuff at an estate. Had a feeling this would be a good item, even with the water damage on the box and contents. Sea monkey item, even newer, seemed to be a bolo. So sea monkeys, um, they're like little eggs you put in water and then they they swim around. They come to life. They're sea monkeys. Um, I found some at a, I think they were, one of them was in a mystery box or something. So I tried it and it's pretty incredible. Um, but these look really old. Uh, 1968. Yeah. I don't know if those sea monkeys would still work or not, but $107 and 27 cents on that. So pretty nostalgic, uh, packaging, advertising, really cool photograph right there. Digging through dresser drawers at an estate sale and found these empty containers. Again, filled bag for 20. 
Uh, remembered the old candy could sell at great prices. Figured empty containers might also sell. Uh, well, researched and saw an unopened one sold for $70. So these are empty 1978 Breaker Confections UFO candy saucer empty containers, $37.50. Taking a page out of your book, Courtney, digging through dresser drawers at an estate sale and found these empty containers, again, filled my Ikea bag for 20. Picked up two figures and this one was a winner. So yeah, I definitely dig through the estate sale drawers. My husband always comes home and he's like, look what I found. It was like underneath the steps in this door. And I looked under the bed, like he is always looking in like all the places that nobody else looks and he always finds incredible things and they're never priced because nobody ever saw them. So anyway, he comes home with some cool stuff, but this is an alien verse marine 1993 figure sold for 33.45. One dollar garage sale pickup. It is a Def Jam fight for New York PlayStation 2 game complete used. 2004, sold for $150. I bought these steel skates from the 1800s, 15 inches long for $8 and sold them for 100. It took about three days to sell. Um, these come from Bolo Buddies member, ah, it's Champagne Taste 74, I think. I'll pop it up right here. And I will also link her down below. So really cool Bolo there. Vintage Levi's Orange Tab Junior Size 11 Style 910 Straight Leg Jeans. Pick these up at my favorite thrift store for $1. They sold in two days for $120 on Poshmark. Wow. This is what they look like. And she also has a close-up. So they don't always have to be the big E to be big money. $120 bucks is fantastic for some vintage jeans. All right, we're going to do one more here. I've been wanting to post this bolo for a while. I found 11 pewter and one bronze John Deere ornaments at the Goodwill bins earlier this year. Finally put eight on eBay in mid-August, of which five sold within four hours. Put the rest on Wednesday, sold one within hours. I've got about 10 cents each. Total before deductions, free shipping, fees and insurance is 813. Still have uh, six still listed. That's incredible. So here's um, the ones that she shared with us. $813 profit so far. I'm telling you, you can dig some amazing stuff out of the Goodwill bins. Um, if you guys are not watching my Goodwill bins videos, you have definitely got to check them out. Um, I recently did a collaboration video with the Dumpster Diva and Dad Planet, two separate uh, collaboration videos, but both super fun. Um, this is what the one with the Dumpster Diva looks like. And this is the one with Dad Planet. And they have a video also. So please go check out their videos and subscribe to their channels. They are incredible. And I am really having a great time with these Goodwill Bins videos. I hope you guys are enjoying them too. So what I do is I go to the bins, I shop, I list everything, and then I pop up screen shares as I dig to keep it educational for you guys. Um, if you guys have any tips or anything that you would like to see in addition to that, please let me know in the comments. And um, I've done a few vlog style videos recently. Um, I don't know. I didn't think anybody would like them, but I've actually had some comments that people like them. So let me know in the comments if you like that style of video and I can try to do more. Um, I'm usually a sit behind the computer and teach um, type of uh, YouTuber, but I have been trying to branch out and get out to yard sales and the Goodwill bins and bring you guys a different, more entertaining format. So let me know your favorite style of video down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and thanks for watching.